hello everyone you are watching new video tech welcome to my new tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to show you guys how you can play playstation 2 games on pc so there is a popular emulator which is uh, pc62 recently it released the pc62 2.0 version so let's install that on pc so first open a browser and search pcsx2 and open the first link this will be the official link of pcsx2 and here as you can see pcsx2 2.0 is finally here so you can check out the new blog post here i'm gonna download that just click on that the latest table and download the installer file Okay, download is completed. Now, as you can see, here is uh, other versions are for Linux and uh, Mac OS. Download according to your operating system. I'm using Windows, so that's why I download the Windows installer file. Okay, now let's install that. Open. Okay, now as you can see, there are installation type, which is a standard version and the portable installation version. In portable installation version, you can um, uh, all the pcs2 data will be stored in the same folder but if you install the standard version then all the data will be stored in the document separately so i prefer the standard installation click on next install okay now let's launch the pcsx2 so this is the setup wizard of pc 62 2.0 uh, language uh, default i will use the dark theme okay next and from the bios so you can download the bios from google i will not show you that because it's not met with the community guideline of youtube then select your bios and click on next uh, you can put the BIOS uh, if you install on the standard version then go to uh, open your user then go to document then search pcsx2 and here you, you can find the BIOS and all the other data just click uh, open this BIOS folder and paste that here okay now click on next okay now here we have to uh, put the game directories so click on add now this will be my game directory d drive e, sorry e drive okay yes click on next and now connect your dual shock controller or any controller you want let me connect my one okay i connect my controller now i select auto mapping then select the controller x input controller and it will automatically key mapping the controller so click on next and click on finish okay it will uh, scanning okay after scan the uh, directory it will find the game benton alien force this is a playstation 2 game so now click on settings click on interface so this will be the settings interface and there are lots of settings here uh, behavior game display check the full screen uh, start with full screen i check that and other settings will be default as a game list this is the directory this is the bios emulation there are lots of settings you can change from here slow motion mode fast forward normal etc uh, click on graphics and select your render i will select directrix 11 and my adapter is uh, intel hd 610 if you have a graphics card then select that and there are lots of settings there display you can change anything from here aspect ratios and full screen mode uh, screenshot size anything you want i will set that all default there is rendering everything you can change from here texture replacement post pausing and osd settings also 
you can sh uh, click on show fps i'll select that show fps so cpu uges source statistics and anything you can want to show on your display so let's everything all default and close this window okay from view there is a toolbar and game list and in this tool you can uh, input recording from here you can also toggle the software rendering from the Vulkan to OpenGL or anything DirectX 11 so this all are cool nice features okay now let's open this game and test it out <coughs> double click on it and it will open so as you can see on the right corner it will show the fps is 60 okay the game is loading click ok keep all this uh, advertisement And yeah, the game is successfully started. Let's start. Okay, I don't know how to do this right now. Let's exit that. Oh, nice cool uh, pause menu. <laughs> okay, we can access settings from here also. There are lots of uh, quick settings. Show appears. Okay, let's close the game. Click on close. And you can also uh, exit with safe stats. So this is the main cool feature of this emulator. I like that because I really need that. You can exit from any state from with save from any game. So this is how you can play PlayStation 2 games on PC. So if this video helpful, then hit the like button. And if you have any problem, comment down. And yeah, I'll catch you in my next video. Bye bye.